Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, how's it going? I'm Icy Volk, and welcome back for some more discussion on Wildstar, an upcoming MMO planned to release around Spring 2014. Today I'll be bringing you some information on adventures which were explained by the Carbine devs in today's Reddit AMA and reported on the official news page. Let's get it started, shall we? So, if you didn't know this yet, apart from dungeons and ship hand missions, Wildstar will boast with five-man scenarios called adventures, which are created by the Caretaker, a merciless Elden being who also happens to be featured on the latest Wildstar flick. Contrary to dungeons, which are linear environments that take place in the actual world of Nexus, adventures are replayable simulations which feature many styles of play that you've seen in popular games such as League of Legends or Left 4 Dead. In Wildstar, adventures are all about large open zones, critical player choices, and strategy-based game mechanics. Typically, adventure runs will last between 25 minutes to over an hour. While combat does take place in an adventure, it isn't the main aspect of the instance. Instead of traditional boss encounters, adventures force players to complete several objectives, which are determined by their own choices through NPC and world interaction. Adventures also provide a great amount of replayability, giving players lots of lore to discover and several gameplay variants. This is to make sure that each play session is fun and different. Players get to fight randomized AI and take on brand new events every time. Adventures reward party members with leveling experience and a variety of loot for their hard work. Gear, housing items, crafting recipes, to name a few. Players not only gain items from killing bosses and completing important tasks, but also receive major rewards once the adventure is finished. Additionally, each adventure will allow the four available player paths to interact in interesting and dynamic ways depending on the outcome of player decisions. Certain paths, such as the Settler, only start to come into play at level 45, specifically in the Tower Defense Adventure. On top of that, level cap players can play the veteran versions of those same adventures in order to prepare themselves for high-end raiding. Wildstar will come out with a total of 6 adventures. At level 15, players can start running the first two faction-specific adventures, which are called Ride in the Void and the High Crest Insurrection. Later on, at level 25, members of both factions can run the adventure War of the Wilds, which features a MOBA style of gameplay. At level 30, players can step into the tower defense scenario called the Siege of Tempest Refuge. Furthermore, the action-adventure-based adventure Crime Lords of Whitevale is available at level 40. And finally, Malgrave Trail, which resembles the old-school Oregon Trail in terms of game principles, is playable at level 45. Finally, once players hit level 50, they can rerun all of the previously mentioned adventures, including the faction-specific ones, which are now unlocked to either faction. Just like veteran dungeons, veteran-rated adventures grant participants with useful gear items. Essentially, this means that adventures are meant to complement dungeons. They provide the same loot quality and gameplay difficulty as the latter, but bring in some different content that some players might prefer over dungeon content. On a last note, according to the developers, the Carbine team plans to release more adventures frequently after launch. And with that, we conclude our overview of Wildstar Adventures. Thank you guys for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more Wildstar content. Also, make sure to tune into WildstarFans.net if you're a recent or longtime fan of the game. Until next time.